everyone in this video I'm going to show you all about the Canon M50 which is my new vlogging camera I'm not filming from it right now I'm still using my old G7X uh, Mark 1 which is still a fantastic camera that I absolutely love but I needed to upgrade to the Canon M50 which is supposed to be the best new vlogging camera of this year um, because it had the mic input, the flipped screen, and few other features that I thought would be really useful to me. So first let me show you where I picked the camera from and then we're gonna unbox, then we'll test all that is to test with the camera and the camera kit lens. There was a bit of random drama that happened when I bought the camera. First, I bought the camera from John Lewis online and for some reason they have this random security thing that if it's a big purchase, which it, most things in John Lewis are really expensive. So the next day when I was supposed to pick up my camera before I went on my Portugal trip, I was like, oh, I need to call them because no one has emailed me yet. So I called them and it turns out they canceled my order or just they put it on hold um, until I, like they made sure that the security is right and that was really annoying because I was already traveling to Portugal for two weeks and I really, really wanted my new camera. Um, anyway, I canceled that order and I couldn't even buy a camera because they held the fund. When I got back from Portugal before my Montenegro trip, I was like, okay, let me just order it directly from Canon, get it the next day, it will be good, I have three days until I go on a trip, just in case. Anywho, um, the order has gone and everything, but then Canon put my order through UPS from the Netherlands and that was not great because then I received an email from them saying that it will arrive Friday, which was perfect. Um, and they were like, oh, we require an electronic signature. When I clicked on that, they needed me to do like an account of some sort and I was like, oh, I'll just sign it when it gets here. For not signing electronically, they moved my order into Monday and I was leaving to Montenegro on Sunday. So yet again, another trip without my new camera. I was, it's like, it felt like a universal message. So I just let it be. I tried to change the date. They would not let me change the date. And then when they didn't deliver it to me because obviously I wasn't home, um, I couldn't get them to re-deliver it. So I had to go and pick it up in the rain and it was so annoying it was like this little corner shop that i was so worried about the camera i was like why would anybody leave a 700 pound camera there anywho we got it and now let's unbox to looking at you here instead of there where the screen is um, but now I'm using not only my new camera but finally I get to use my Rode mic the camera is considered light it's still not as light as the Canon G7X it's like a tad heavier and I have the microphone with it so it kind of adds a little bit to the weight do you see the difference do you like the difference please comment below tell me your thoughts and do you hear the difference now that I've put the new mic? Does that actually make a difference to you in the audio? I would be curious to hear from you and your experience as a viewer. So now let's go out and test the camera. So I'm going out to get some sushi, my favorite thing in life, although I only eat cooked sushi. Anyway.
this is the difference between the videos and the photos from the two cameras. I'm really enjoying the M50 so far and I think it's a really good upgrade from the Canon G7X although the 7x is a really good starting point to my videos from the past two years and photos have all been on there and it served me really well and it kept falling and recovering and it was really good but I really wanted to add the mic the different lenses and I just wanted to have the higher quality in the video and I think this camera is giving it to me let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you think that was a good decision of me to upgrade do you have any other camera recommendations or questions I want to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time.